Hello everyone, Casey Runner for Casey Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. As you can see, we are back here with the QC Runner account. It's been a while since we've been here with this account. And as a matter of fact, it's been a while since we've had an episode of Hustle Castle. So, first, let me apologize for being away for so long. Um, things have gotten very crazy this week, and it was very busy. We've got sporting things going on, uh, softball schedule certainly picking up, had some birthdays around the house to deal with, and things have just been very crazy, so... If you've been posting comments, I apologize. I have not gotten to them, uh, anything on Facebook or um, video comments or anything. So I will hopefully be catching up with that throughout the week and respond to any questions that are out there that anybody has posted. And um, yeah, so before, you know, not going to get too crazy into that. Obviously, everybody has busy schedules. So anyway, that's where that's why I haven't been and posting lately. And um this is back to the uh, old school recording, so hopefully this sound and everything is fine and similar to what it's been in the past, um, not doing it on the PC. We'll be doing that again. Uh, as I understand it, the last video was a little bit quiet again, so I think it was better, but I guess it still wasn't good enough yet. So um, definitely got some tweaking to do on that to improve it. Um, not going to do it tonight because it's got a, got a lot of stuff to do tonight outside of the game, so I'm just going to quickly get this video out there. Um, to let you guys know about the giveaway that's coming up again and uh, let you know also where I am on this account because things things have actually taken a bit of a turn. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Before we jump right in, yeah, 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 yeah. let's jump in. We'll, we'll cover the other things later. Um, yeah, so let's let's take a look at our current squad power. We are looking at 5.048 and I believe that should be a bit of a surprise to everybody and if you look at my lineup there's a certain person that's missing and a certain new person that's in there and that is the one that's missing so Angie my assassin overall power up to 829,000 I finally got you know the ancient daggers going we got the set bonus going two of six I got an extra violet um, gem in there. I think I uh, up a, upped a couple other gems as well. And her DPS, I think, now is the highest on the entire squad. So I expected to start, you know, dominating even more. But oddly enough, I, you know, right from the fairly beginning, I noticed things not being quite what I wanted. Uh, in gem bay, I was, before I did that ancient upgrade, I was getting, you know, 20 of 20 easily again. And I would use maybe three to four spells fairly consistently i mean it's you know give or take a few definitely but it averaged probably about three or four i'd say average about four um after i upgraded her and then you know i added a couple of violet violet gems to her and a couple others and they were you know the smart way like i like to do like you know damage for my damage dealers and health for my health people and that kind of stuff and i've i've been struggling to get 20 or 20 often actually to be honest um and there's been times when i've missed it and i also noticed in the arena that I was, you know, there's a couple times I had a chance at first place and I missed it because it was taking too long to kill people and I lost points multiple times I lost first place because I was just too slow to kill the enemy. So I don't know why that is with a new person who is, you know, higher DPS. So I'm guessing that, you know, she was just either stunned since she's up front, hitting, getting hit right away and being stunned and not being able to deal the damage or I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what was going on there, so... And also maybe, you know, with all the hitting, she's actually causing some extra healing. So I, I didn't, you know, dive completely into the numbers. But so what I ended up doing is putting Evan, I think this is, Evan back in there. His health, his total power is 300,000 less. So DPS is 21,000, so less than half of what the other one was, Angie. And immediately the first couple times I went into the arena, um, you know, my 300,000 less power, but I was getting higher finished um positions again of where I expected to be so even though this fighter is not as good I've been having better results already but now unfortunately for Jembe you know my historical high is 300,000 higher so I'm fighting people way higher than me with with Evan here so um, it's a little bit easier now than I had with Angie in there but still a little bit harder because he is underpowered so come you know for my historic high so what I'm going to do with this squad now so I have both of these are ranger amulets, and she is not going to be a ranger. She's going to be a uh, bane. I think it's called bane, right? You know, something with a crossbow. Let's go craft. We go bane. Uh, this one right here, a bane set. So she's going to be bane, but she has an archer, a ranger. So what I think I'm going to be doing here, it's going to take a lot of, lot of mithril, which I'm going to do another episode talking about all the mithril I get every day and see. Uh, See why I'm complaining so much, but that'll be a, that'll be another episode. So, 
Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is be taking these ancient sets here, or the ring and the amulet, I'm going to switch them over to Evan, and then I'll find something that works. I just put this one on. I'm going to test out, test out this weapon. I'm not sure, or the, the ring. I'm not sure if it's going to be useful or not, but I'm going to try that because, I mean, if I compare that to her ring, which is just dealing 28 to 38 damage, and this one was here. Way less. I mean, obviously the other one's ancient too, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to probably switch this, you know, ring and amulet over and then put this one over here, and then we'll up those to ancient as well, so, and then also I'm going to get this guy ancient too at some point, so. Um, yeah, so that's the goal. I think I'm going to go back to the two archer set, and, you know, they both have backstab, two archer, three mage, and then one tank, and if, you know, I was losing because my my assassin was being stunned or whatever, you know, I don't care if my tank is stunned, I mean, she does some damage, of course, but really the, the major of the damage is coming from Leah here in the back and now Evan from the back. So I think I think this is going to be the way I'm going to go. I'm going to, that's the strategy and the direction I'm headed um, and hopefully get my overall power back up 300,000 so I can start fighting fighting at the level that I, sh you know, I was before. So anyway, I know that was a very long and evolved story to say that I've been highly disappointed with my assassin so far in this upgrade that I did. Um, you know, extra damage and extra damage. I was really looking forward to having things happen, and they're just not. Um, I do have a uh, legendary soul, weapon soul coming. We're going to open that up here in a minute. And I've been very much wanting this this soul right here. Uh, I haven't been getting it. Now that I took her out of my <laughs> my rotation, I am fully expecting to get this one. So anyway, that's just that's just the luck I'd be getting. But I'm also looking for this one. Oh no, I do have this one. Um, none of my mages have them. I think that one doesn't have any. That one does, and that one does. Okay, one of them's missing. So we're only looking for one that we don't have. But um, you know, we have these other guys on the bench that could also use it too. So uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, let's just jump right here in the middle of this video and announce the giveaway real quick. Again, I'm I'm falling behind this week again, just like last week. As I understand it, I think I saw people posting, and I also got confirmation from the um, Hustle Castle Facebook page that awards were sent out last week. So hopefully everybody's gotten their awards by now. Uh, this week we're gonna we're gonna be very similar. Gonna keep it nice and simple. Just you know, any any easy way to give away diamonds and try to do it in a fair fair way. Um, again, these. Uh, these diamonds are um, courtesy of the Hustle Castle Facebook group, so thank you very much to them for uh, the weekly donations that we're getting to the channel here. So we're going to make it simple again. A uh, number between 1 and 1,000. Put it in the comments. You need to add your game ID. If you click on settings here, look on the bottom here. It says your ID. Mine says 5555. One too many there, sorry. 1387. So in the comments of this video, post your game ID and your guess. The number between 1 and 1,000. And the... Uh, five closest uh, guessers will get 250 in-game diamonds uh, awarded within a couple days after after um, I send in the results. So the uh, we're, we'll keep it keep it same, you know, keep it nice and simple. It's going to be 48 hours again, two days. That seems to be about the most amount of time that people play. Usually most people do it within a day. A couple other people jump in late. One time I kept over three days, and I don't think anybody else even did anything on that third day. So... We're going to keep it two days from the moment this video goes live. So today for me, it's Sunday evening, so that will be Tuesday evening. I'll close it and announce the uh, the winners. So again, just one in a thousand, your, your guess and your game ID of what you think it's going to be. So, all right, that out of the way. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get anything good to make our squad a little bit more powerful. Oh, one other thing. Um, I haven't heard any updates yet on um, the next event. The I know American Dad has a Valentine's event coming soon. I'm I'm guessing once the um, for them it's not called the portal. It's called the uh, oh I forget what it's called. But anyway, I'm pretty sure when that closes, they're gonna have their new event started because they already had their uh, game update. So that will be within a couple of days. I'm guessing. And I haven't heard anything here, and I haven't been on Discord or any of the socials. So I don't know if anything's been posted. But I, I nothing that I've heard so far about an event here. So maybe there could be a donkey coming. That's just a complete random guess. This is. Not based on nothing, you know. Maybe the donkey. I would imagine there's something that's going to be coming up, even if it's not an event, but something somewhat special that should be coming up soon. I would expect so um, for for Valentine's Day. But um, yeah. So once I find out something, I'll I'll be sure to post it here, and then I'll you know post it on Facebook and Twitter as well. Once I once I hear something. So let's go ahead and jump in and see if I can get something something out of this uh, 
out of this, this you know, these items I got here. So I grinded the uh, the portal again this weekend. Just in the that's one of the things I can kind of do. I can put the game in my pocket, just hit you know hit level eighty, put it in my pocket, take it out again another minute or two later, hit eighty, and you know my squad's fully powered up because you know level eighty is not that difficult anymore. There's supposed to be a portal update coming, so hopefully the next update will be that. I haven't heard any updates on that yet, but um, that's going to be one of the next uh, n- next updates for sure. So um, anyway, so I was grinding the portal and got 150,000 souls, which gives me a legendary weapon soul. So let's go ahead and see what we're getting. And it is a 23% chance of increasing damage done by 45%. A 3,000 to 3,100. I already have a couple of those, I think. And I'm not using them. Let me take a quick... Look, you know, I have actually a person here that could use it. Ooh, I forgot I had another archer here. That's interesting. I was thinking she was a uh, she was a tank. Where is my? T- there she is, right there. This one. So I couldn't actually outfit her because I think I got like three of these. Nope, oh, only two. I lied. So we had this one before, which was damage would be up a good amount. But I don't use this person, so that's why I haven't really said it yet. 18% chance of decreasing armor. That's not really very good. I can replace it with the 8% chance of dealing 80% damage. That's good, but this new one we just got is... Oh, must be different. I can't use it anyway because it's the same as my uh, weapon, which is healing. So, oh, increasing damage done. This one, restoring health. I could use that one, right? Why come that's not going to let me use it? A weapon soul, sword, sword, must have different abilities. So this is, when it, oh, because this is a double thing, the one on the top and the bottom, that's why. Anyway, I'm not going to outfit that one because I don't really need it. So obviously that was, I'm not going to call it a waste, but it's kind of a waste because I can't immediately use it. All right, so down here we got a couple items to do. Let's go ahead and open this. Usually nothing. I haven't got a legendary here in a very long time. Let's see if we can get lucky, and we didn't. Okay. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff, though. We got a... Yep, nope, nope. Mm, probably nope. All right, let's break you apart. No, let's keep that, because I don't know. Okay, that's not very good. All right, third time's a turn. Let's get something here. Haven't got Legendary here in a long time, either. Ooh, that actually could be useful. Ooh, look at that. We got a regular and an epic. Um... So, 1694. Wowzer. I think that will be useful, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look. What's our total food right now? It's 77,898. And food. Let's look at full of everybody. So, our lowest is Michael. I mean, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, what's wrong with my brain here. Let's go to our first number, 70. Yeah. You, Michael. That's the person I just said. How about that? All right, he's doing 6508, and that one's way lower, so this will be huge. 65, what did I say? 6508. That's the 6507. Let's compare that one. 6507. Look at that. It was 241 extra. That is huge. Let's go to our other 70 here. So she's at 6482. That was up a bit. All right, now we'll just look at everybody. Doesn't matter. Nothing. 6233. Up a touch. 60076. That's up a little bit. Nothing. 6325. Up a little baby amount. All right. So that put us over the 78,000 mark. That was pretty huge. Just that one little uh, item there. Um. All right. Well, that was the the big stuff I had. I mean, there's so many things I uh, I need to do, and just it's the grind has been getting hard with. Uh, trying to do the multiple things and everything going on in life. So I'm, what I'm, what I'm, one of the things I'm thinking about doing, which I might try to do tonight, is, you know, I've been saying I don't want to do my upgrade to this, to my magic workshop, because I'm going to be out of commission for, this is four and a half days, but it'll be, uh, you know, with, with um, people in there, it'll be a lot quicker, so maybe two days. But since I'm so far behind in everything and time has been busy, trying to grind the um, djembe, for all of those, it's been a bit of a struggle. So since I almost have enough of everything, I need, what, 230,000 more uh, purple goo and a million more gold. I think I might just go ahead and do this upgrade. That'll be the second to last upgrade. So that'll be the Magic Workshop. 
And then the only thing I have left is two barrack upgrades, which will be someday in the distant future. I also could upgrade here, because this is done now as well, but I think I'm going to do that, and that's going to help give me a little bit more time on some things. I'll, I'll miss some djembe runs, but I'm actually okay with that, because I need, uh, I need to add a little bit of time. As you can see, I'm falling behind here, so I got tons tons of boxes to open again. Probably just wait on those until the next uh, event comes around again. Uh, let's see, 81 days, so nothing's in, you know going to be expiring. So we got 75 boxes to open in 10 days, 9 days even. So things are gaining fairly quickly there. So we'll open those up probably when the next event starts. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, I know it was just more informational. There wasn't a, a whole lot of content in there. And I'm hoping that we'll hear more about the next event here pretty soon. And um, I'm going to try to focus on getting Evan stronger. Because right now Evan is... He's not as strong as he could be for sure. And I'm going to test out this new ring. I don't have any good necklaces for him, so maybe I might start trying to craft some necklaces and see if I can't get a good one. Something that I can convert to a uh, um, an ancient one and have it be worthwhile. Or maybe I just need to hold off until the next uh, the next event and get one of those. Let's see what we have here. So this I'm not using this person, so I might even need to consider taking this one of the either this one or this one, armor magic armor. I don't have a necklace that has five slots and is all um, non-spell power that I can give. Most of them have two or three. It's like a regular armor, magic armor, health, so it's not a one for mage, but it has one or two different gem slots for spell power, which is completely waste. So I don't really want to change something like that into a, an ancient because I'm wasting so many potential better options that I could be using. So... Um, I need to get one, so maybe I'll start crafting. So, all right. Uh, obviously, I'm just babbling on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end this one for for today. I will be getting back soon next week with more content, more hopeful, useful content, and I will talk to you in the next one. This is QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.